Hey everyone and welcome back to the Dubai Expat YouTube channel. As you might have seen in the last watch collection update, there is one very rare watch that I didn't review yet. So in this episode we are going to do the full unboxing and review of the one year limited production H Moser C Streamliner Center Seconds Automatic Smoked Salmon. Take a coffee and enjoy the video. On the wrist is the Moser Heritage Dual Time today, a very special piece inspired from the early 20th century pocket watches with a modern twist. I bought this watch around mid-year 2023 and was one of the very lucky persons to get it directly from the authorized dealer. I bought the watch for the exact retail price of 22,900 euro or around 25,000 US dollars. Looking at the second-hand market, these pieces are trading somewhere around 35,000 US dollars, probably to the very limited production and it being one of the most special pieces you can buy from Moser and C. The watch comes in a newly designed box. A dark grey outer sleeve holds everything together. And inside the box we can find the Moser NC Streamliner well protected by a big seal. Instead of a user manual, a card is laying inside via which you can download the booklet and find all information how to operate and care for your watch. The warranty card to the watch, it comes under 2 years international warranty and a small cleaning cloth we can find as well in the box. A nice addition and much more useful than a printed booklet. And here's the watch still fully stickered with all the seals on it. So let us strip her naked and remove those hang tags. The hang tag to the watch showing reference number and model name and the H Moser and C seal. In addition to the watch I received the extra links. Four of them had to be removed to size it for my wrist. The AD wrapped them with some protective tape so they are not scratching each other in the back. And here's the H Moser and C Streamliner Center Second Smoked Salmon in its full beauty. This watch is the successor of the former Matrix Green Streamliner Center Seconds and will only be in production for 12 months during 2023. First things first, let's bring her to life. For that we unscrew the crown, pull it out one step and set the time. Very easy as you would expect from a time only watch. Afterwards we push the crown back in so the movement starts operating again and screw it back down. Let us check the dimensions. The diameter of the watch is 40 mm, the thickness comes at a nice 12 mm and the lug to lug span including the end links is 45 mm. The bracelet starts at 23 mm and tapers down to 17 mm. Perfect dimensions for medium size wrists. The weight of the watch is 140 grams and including all links it comes at 150 grams. Time for a first wrist shot. The watch slides nicely on the wrist without any sharp edges. It sits perfect on my 6.5 inch wrist. The 40mm case wears like a true 40mm case, while usually integrated bracelet watches wear easily 2mm bigger than their case diameter. The curvature of the bracelet hugs my wrist very well and we have no overlapping of stiff end links. The bracelet is one of the big highlights of the watch. It not only wears very comfortable, but the design is outstanding. The top parts are satinated, which means just a soft brushing into one direction has been applied. It comes with beveled and polished edges, 
has very little play in between the links and a quite complex structure. The links are connected by pins and sleeves what gives an even cleaner optic and matches well the style of the watch. The clasp is made in a butterfly design with a non-sequential closing mechanism and a twin trigger release. The sides of the case have a unique design, with case bag and bezel edge which are elevated over the middle case and continue the polished edges of the bracelet. The middle part is set and finished as well. The crown is a screwing crown and gives the watch 100 meters of water resistance. The top of the watch has a satin finished bezel and reminds me strongly of the design of the streamliner locomotives of the early 20th century. The dial of the watch features a vertical lined sunburst finish which made Moser famous. The logo is ghosted and made from a transparent paint. Moser changed from a white printed logo to a transparent lacquered logo to some watches without a logo at all. The decision was done due to the brand being strong enough without showing a logo nowadays and keeping the minimalistic design. I still prefer the transparent lacquered logo and think it is the nicest choice of the three variations. The hour indices are applied and polished. Around the dial is a staggered racing track styled chapter ring. Our minute and seconds hand come with an applied loom stripe that overlaps the end of the hands. Front and back crystal are sapphire ones with anti-reflective coating applied. Time for a loom shot. In the inside of the watch we can find a caliber HMC 200, an automatic manufacturer caliber with a power reserve of 3 days. The rotor is made of rose gold and winds bidirectional. The movement beats at 3 Hz, comes with a hacking feature, 27 joules and has a beautiful finishing on the bridges with Moser's own tag on Côte de Genève motif and gleaming anglage. And now it is time for the watch score. The dimensions are nearly perfect for my 6.5 inch wrist. It could just be a smidgen thinner to give it a top score of 10. The case and features are up to a top notch finishing with an interesting to look at structure. The movement and dial is up to highest levels of watchmaking with a strong power reserve and innovative features. The bracelet is one of the best designed ones in the market, feels super sturdy while looking very elegant. It just misses a micro adjustment for a better fit. For the daily usage the watch feels a bit delicate besides the high water resistance and great build quality. It will definitely shine at the weekend and be a conversation starter. For sportive usage I would prefer usually non-bracelet pieces but the 120 meter water resistance will help it to score above average. Image and history for this piece are great due to the one year production only, funny take on salmon dials and being the most sought after watch from Moser NC. The brand recognition is great as well, especially within the watch collector circles. Value for money is good considering the high level of finishing, awesome movement and value retention but for 23,000 euro it is certainly not a cheap watch. All of that together gives the watch a total score of 82 out of 100 and with that it was an immediate buy for me. It ranks amongst the best watches I've ever reviewed and is one of the most special pieces within my collection. And with that we are at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review. Let me know your opinion about the watch in the comments down below and see you in the next one. Bye bye.